Tonight, California Governor Gavin Newsom ratcheting up efforts to clean out those homeless encampments, the ones that have become synonymous with some of the state's biggest cities. I think we can all agree uh, that we need to do more to clean up encampments in the state of California. Newsom pledging $300 million to sweep out the encampments, promising to provide support to the people displaced. The governor says the state has already cleaned out roughly 5,700 encampments since July 2021. The idea being that we weren't just cleaning up encampments out of sight, out of mind, and displacing people or moving people, but that we're trying to resolve the underlying issues in the first place and actually support people to get them back on their feet. The funding comes as a University of California study finds 171,000 people are experiencing homelessness in the Golden State, representing 30% of the entire country's homeless population and roughly half of the nation's unsheltered. Here to there is my space. Violence in and around California's encampments becoming a national flashpoint and raising questions about Newsom's handling of the crisis. Oh, he's got a hammer. Somebody call the police, guys. Last December, an organization supporting the homeless posted this video, reportedly showing a man swinging at people with a hammer near a row of tents in San Diego and horrifying footage of a brutal beating. Three people stomping to attack a homeless man in this encampment in May 2021. California Republican legislator Roger Nilo telling the Center Square the cleanup program Newsom announced is basically a program to deal with what he probably views as a political hot potato. <laughs> One state over in Nevada, a possible solution. In Reno, officials opening a series of housing units called the Nevada Cares Campus to provide individuals experiencing homelessness an alternative to encampments. Your basic needs aren't threatened anymore. You're not going to have to worry about getting your stuff stolen from you. You're not going to have to worry about physical violence. Since the campus was built in 2021 with a capacity of more than 600, the number of homeless people on the streets has dropped by 58%. The value of doing this is that we have uh, an opportunity to watch people grow. Now a political battle heating up once again over California's poorest residents left out in the cold. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.